Hey everyone, this is SM Pratt, and it's time to talk about the Pokemon card. And by the Pokemon card, I mean the Pokemon card. This is the Pikachu Illustrator card, it is the most valuable Pokemon card, and one of the most valuable trading cards in the entire world. This video will be a comprehensive guide for the Pikachu Illustrator card. I will give you a close-up view of my personal copy behind me. That will be the first ever authentic Illustrator featured on YouTube. Also, for the first time ever, I will reveal the sales price of a PSA 9 Mint Illustrator. I'll also give you as much history, knowledge, and experience I've had with this card. To put that in better perspective, I've personally graded every single PSA 9 Mint example of the Illustrator. I either own it, have it for sale, or have sold it. So beginning with history, this card was only awarded to the winners of the 1998 Illustration Contest in Japan. In order to win that contest, you needed to be a Japanese citizen in 1998, submit your artwork to the contest, and if your artwork was chosen as one of the winning entries, you receive this card. Why I emphasize this process is to also highlight the fact that no, your kid does not own this card, they did not trade for it at recess, you do not have this card sitting in an attic, it's not something you accidentally acquired. This is something you can only purchase in a specific way for a specific price. This has always been a five-figure item. In fact, the first public sale of this card was in the year 2000, and it sold for over $20,000. Recently, a PSA 9 example of this card sold for $50,000. That is more than any other Pokemon card has ever sold for until another copy sold for more. So this is hands down the most valuable Pokemon card in the entire hobby. Nothing comes close. Unfortunately, because of its high price tag and extreme notoriety, there are a ton of forgeries out there on the market. So if you see a card that is not graded by PSA, it is not authentic. It's that simple. There's absolutely no reason to not grade your card with PSA if it is truly an authentic copy. Even if you're one of the original winners from the actual contest, you should grade your card with PSA. Even if it gets PSA 1, which is the lowest possible rating, it will be more valuable and more authentic than an ungraded example. So with that said, let's take a look here at the card behind me. And like I said before, this is the first time an Illustrator card has ever been featured on YouTube. So this is my personal Pikachu Illustrator card. I purchased this in 2011, which is five years ago now. It was also the first ever PSA 9 example graded. This is the first mint copy graded. Also, this exact card is the stock image for Bulbapedia. Bulbapedia is the Pokemon Encyclopedia webpage. I'm sure most people have come across it at some point. If you go there and search Pikachu Illustrator, this will be the exact card you will see with the exact same hollow pattern. So for those who don't fully understand why this card is so collectible, why it's so sought after, from a collecting standpoint, from an aesthetic standpoint, the older Japanese promos do a very, very good job of emphasizing the release through the artwork. So what I mean is this card was specifically printed for the winners of the illustration contest. So you have artwork here of Pikachu with a pen and paintbrush drawing Charmander. You also have, you know, the word illustrator here at the top. You have this unique pen. All of these attributes are unique to this card alone. Also on top of that, the card features the double star rarity here at the bottom. That is only featured on the higher end trophy cards, such as the SSB cards. And the trophy Pikachu cards. And the TMB trophy cards as well. Outside of the Illustrator, those trophy cards are the highest end items in Pokemon, and they all feature that double star rarity. Something that I think sports collectors and or non-sports collectors that are cross collectors that are interested in this card don't understand is that the Illustrator has a maximum amount of 20 to 39 copies awarded. That's the maximum potential amount awarded. That's not the amount that actually exists today. So it's very, very difficult to even acquire an authentic example of this card, let alone one that is in mint condition. The only other subtle tidbit I can think of is on these authentic illustrators and the authentic higher-end trophy cards or older Japanese holo cards. They have this almost three-dimensional border here. So the border of the illustration, it makes the 
hollow pattern and or illustration of Pikachu looked recessed or 3D, if you will, somewhat similar to Mario 64, you know, where you can just jump right in there. That's what this illustration looks like to me. In fact, it's better illustrated here with the trophy Pikas. If you look at that number two or that number three trainer, it looks like the border around the illustration is almost three dimensional. That's something you will see on the authentic examples. And get a good look at that hollow pattern. It should be the Galaxy slash Cosmo hollow pattern that is the standard for the Japanese cards. The only other tidbit I can think of is if you look at the back here, this is the standard Japanese back from the 90s till about 2000, 2001. About 2001, 2002, they changed the back to this template here. So this is the old back template. This is what you should see on the Illustrator card because it was printed in 1998. Let me give you one more close-up look. There you have it. That's the most valuable card in the entire hobby, the PSA 9 Pikachu Illustrator card.